the president has recently called on Congress to pass yet another stimulus bill. Even though the last stimulus added a trillion dollars to our debt and did nothing to slow increasing unemployment, the president's hoping you've forgotten the lessons of the past and will buy into another round of economic snake oil. Let's take a few minutes to look at one of the projects that the last trillion dollar stimulus bought us. In 2010, as part of the failed stimulus, the administration created the Treasury Department's 1603 Renewable Energy Grant Program. This $7 billion program provided $170 million in federal tax dollars to a Spanish company to build a wind farm in Illinois. Iberdrola, the Spanish company building the wind farm, is investing heavily in the United States, not because renewable energy is economically competitive here, but because the subsidy gravy train still runs freely. They said as much in news reports. And it's not as if Iberdrola can't afford to spend the money itself. In fact, it's one of the largest energy companies in the world. Behind their pretty windmills, there are serious consequences. We know exactly what happens. Excessive government spending, mountains of debt, and temporary jobs that evaporate. We know this not because of some speculative guesswork, but because of an analysis by Spanish economists of their nation's misadventure in renewable subsidies. This analysis of Spain's experiment draws some tragic conclusions. First, for each green job created by green energy spending in Spain, 2.2 regular jobs were destroyed. Second, forcing extremely expensive energy into the Spanish market increased the price of energy for every business and individual, killing jobs and strangling family budgets. Finally, the Spanish taxpayer was saddled with the massive long-term debt necessary to finance these subsidies in a country already facing a fiscal crisis. We can't let America go down the same road. We need to say no to the president's stimulus proposal and instead pursue pro-growth policies that reduce spending, lower taxes, and reduce the regulatory burdens on entrepreneurs. Doing these things will liberate our innovators to reinvigorate the economy and create sustainable jobs.